Hello, I'm here to do a tarot reading for Aquarius. Cheers, everybody. I hope everyone's having a great day. I am, I feel great. I got dinner plans with a friend to make some dinner. Super excited. I love cooking and I love food. So anyways, you're tuning in. Uh, this is a love reading for fall of 2003. It is just a general reading. This will not resonate with everybody out there. I've got my love oracle deck here for y'all. I don't know why I keep on saying y'all. Like, I'm not American. Is that like an American? Like, I'm Canadian saying y'all. What is with the y'all? I don't know. I it, And I like, I, I guess I must say it a lot. I don't know. Anyways, I'm doing a reading for you guys from my love oracle deck. We're going to start with seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Hmm. Looks like you might uh, have several suitors. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a good time here. Passion. That is chemistry, like liking each other, having fun, equality. You are having some fun. I don't know who this is resonating with, but Aquarius, uh, lots of passion. The sword and the rose, clarity, truth, resolution, um, fierce honor protection power uh i don't know you might be tired of someone's bullshit out there uh aquarius and maybe the romance is gone so you might be looking elsewhere you know what i'm saying um you feel Maybe, like, you're looking at other options anyways. It doesn't mean you're going to, like, necessarily do anything about it. But you're thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe you got several options. I mean, nothing wrong with that. If you're playing and you're looking to have some fun, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This is, in fact, more like a singles reading. Um, let's see what else comes up. Oh, yeah. The Ace of Cups is all about new love. Or it could just be recapturing your old love. If you're in a present situation, like things were very hot. Maybe you were with somebody that was attached or you are attached. And somebody comes in. Boom. You know what I mean? The star with the passion. See, you are hoping. You are hoping. Like you're you're dreaming, you're fantasizing about somebody. Or it's either somebody new or if you you are attached, then you are fantasizing perhaps about making love to your partner like again or like rekindling that spark. Knight of Pentacles. That's a really slow, like, moving energy. It's the slowest night in the deck, in the tarot deck. Um, it's like stability. It's like growth. It's also being, like, it's a really committed, grounding kind of energy. Like, you might be... <laughs> Resolution. So some of you that have been in a relationship um, and maybe you went through a time of like separation. I see maybe some something like you don't want to leave your stability. Maybe you're thinking of leaving your partner, but then you think I have stability. Like, do I really want to start from scratch or do I work things out with them? Let's clarify.
the hermit with the seduction and yeah you're feeling lonely in your past here past or present kind of situation you are feeling lonely and you want love you want that passion you want that seduction that's what you want He's getting low, I guess. Um, here we are. The Empress. Yeah, you are feeling sexy. The Empress is like one of the sexiest cards in the deck. It's a very like sexy energy. Like some of y'all just might be wanting to get laid. You're hoping that you will. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you guys just feel like getting it on. Like, uh, Seven of Pentacles. Ah. The Seven of Pentacles, you can see, he looks like he's kind of exhausted. He's overwhelmed. Maybe some of you are just really trying to get your finances back in order. You're more focused on that than anything else. And, I mean, if you're looking to, like, leave somebody... A lot of the times that can cause financial devastation. That's what you don't want. Um, you know, you're happy in that department, but you're just lacking some chemistry and you're feeling financially frustrated. You know what I mean? Here. Um, or that you're having to work really hard just to keep afloat. Like with this economy, everybody feels like that. I know I do. You're thinking of maybe trying to communicate or express yourself to somebody. You want to talk. But, I don't know, I see you wanting to be alone. Not really wanting commitment. Like, some of y'all might have commitment issues. Y'all, again with the y'all, you folks. You people. You people. <laughs> Like Don Cherry style. You people. <laughs> uh, I can't say that, you people. Apparently that's going to offend somebody. You people. Like you single people. You people in a relationship. You people in general watching this. You people. The underworld. Yeah. You feel like it's time to let go of something that possibly is not working for you. You wanna try, but you're not sure if it's worth your time or your energy anymore. Workmanship. You're really just focused on work and your money. I mean, you feel like you don't have time for other people's bullshit is what it comes down to. Like, you're like, holy man, with the Empress, You are independent, fiercely, fiercely strong. You're a very nurturing person as well, some of you here. Um, but you know, you are hoping for to have some fun. Like you really, really are. You might be a little bored with the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, you're like, where is the spark? Ugh. I just went through this myself. I was seeing somebody inner fire. There you go. Inner fire is all about passion. It's that fiery, like, sweep me off my feet energy. You want romance. Like, uh, some of you just might be really, really bored in your present situation. Um, it's the best thing to say. Like, you are bored. I, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes people, maybe they cheated or you cheated or something along those lines. And it was just because there might be no chemistry anymore. It might be like a brother, sister, freaking relationship. You know what I mean? Like, I was seeing this dude and it was literally... Like, it had only been a month. Like, Lord forbid, like, we would have sex, like, freaking once a week. And usually when he was fucked up, it was just like, seriously, are you even attracted to me? Like, a month into it? I don't know. 
He was older than me, though, so I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm a person. I'm sexually charged, so. I mean, it wasn't working for me. Nice guy and everything. Um, but I said, hey, man, like, I want to have, like, sober sex with you. Like, I'm not in for you, like, being all sloppy, drunk, crawling into bed. And, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, where's the passion? Exactly that. I said, there is no passion. I feel like there's no chemistry between us. And I just ended it and I just said, you know, let's be friends. Like, you're either that attraction is there, that chemistry. Like, I I guess that's not love. Like, you know what I mean? Because I care about the person a lot. But it would have been nice, like, holy man, like, come home at lunch and, like, rip off my clothing. You know what I mean? But there was just none of that, sadly. So I was like, hmm, this is, like, new. So what's it going to be like a year from now? Because new, generally, like, you hook up. Like, you know, that's what you guys are missing. Like, that when you first, like, come together and ah, and it's just like you're all over each other, you know? And you miss that, like, apparently with this person. So, I mean, the cards are just here to give you advice. You're going to do what you want to do. No matter what the cards say, I'm just telling you what you're lacking and what you actually want. And you're going to base your decision, let's see, with this inner fire. The fool. Aries energy, you got... Like, it seems to me like you're going to take a leap of faith. You're going to take the next step. I mean, maybe you didn't want a relationship. Maybe you don't want a relationship. But, you know, you're putting yourself out there here. Um, and you want to have fun with the fool. You're willing to, like, you know what I mean? Like, take a chance, take a risk. That's the only way that you're going to be able to move on from the situation. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. That's the thing with the fool. You don't know what's going to happen. It's like playing in a freaking poker tournament, you know, or like Russian roulette style with the fool. I think you guys have the fear of the unknown or that fear of things not working out no matter what you do and you're still going to be miserable and you're not sure if you want to waste your time anymore. You're kind of like exhausted with, you feel like you're the only one trying in this past or present relationship that you were in. I mean, you know, you're willing to take a risk on somebody new there, Aquarius, because according to these cards, you are going to take a risk, you know, and let me know if that works out. If you are watching this and you want to comment afterwards, if any of this is resonating with anybody that is watching, I don't know, I say take a leap of faith, try something new. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe you're bored at your job too. But this is a love reading. This isn't a work, finance, like, kind of reading. But you're very preoccupied with that. I mean, who isn't? Maybe you don't want to leave this person because of financial reasons. I mean, lots of people stay where they're unhappy because of their stability. They don't want to lose their stability. Somehow, what, with the Empress, you don't think that you can make this on your own? Let's, like, like yes, you can. You might have presently did this. So, yes, you can make it on your own. There's lots of single champs out there that, you know what, maybe they have to move. And maybe that's what you don't want to have to do. Maybe you can't afford your bills on your own, like, like as nice of a place, right? I don't know what's going on there, Aquarius, but I just feel like you're not fulfilled. You feel like, you know, the thrill is gone, baby. I don't know. I don't know if you can try to spark that back up, but it looks like maybe you have tried. You, I don't even think you have the passion for this person. But yet you seem to be putting it all on them. And that's not really fair, right? Because if you're not feeling it, how are they supposed to be feeling it? Maybe you're both 
not feeling it. Maybe you've decided to have like an open relationship. Maybe that's something you can discuss with your partner. I don't know. I could never do that. I'm, I'm a person I can't, I don't want to share my partner with nobody. Like, you know, I'm an Aries and I'm very like, you know, once I'm with you, I just want to be with that person. So I don't know. Right. Okay. Anyways, I hope that helped. I hope somebody out there will find this reading interesting. Um, have a great day, you guys. Oh, I'm just going to have a sip of this. Cheers.